land and when i think you already heard this term over many 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 times and you already know this just a very quickly recap then type of networks as you can see so you can see the green one is a, representing a land and orange or pink or whatever pink color or lightish pink whatever it is the color this this is representing the van actually so most likely the lan is the local area network like a small home office central office or a branch office so they are connecting to internet or some kind of cloud cloud mean that actually you don't have the visibility what is inside it is not owned by you you don't have the access to that okay it's a third party so maybe you can see the routers these routers these routers these devices or these devices they are connecting to each other through the internet um you can see the lan which is providing local air services here for example if this printer if this guy want to print it doesn't need to send to this printer okay because if he send any print to this printer who is going to get that print for him so of course this printer is local to him if any traffic or if any message comes into the local printer that is for this lan it will be served by the switch it doesn't cross this network boundary it doesn't go to the wan side so wan mean a wide area network which connecting to different lands to each other for example a company has 10 offices and they want to connect to each other they have a di different land inside the offices they have a printer they have 10 20 people every office they are working uh file printer file share all these things they have wireless as well but these are just local but if they want to connect to each other then they need router which can connect them through physical media or any network to each other Yeah. So the most common of the networks infrastructures, of course, LAN, local area network, and the WAN. Other type of network include MAN, which is a metropolitan, which is within the within the city. If the city has many branches of one company, okay, that is also possible. That one of the bank may they have multiple branches in London, and they want to connect them. This is this is called metropolitan and that's really easy. most likely when we call consider when there is some kind of a geographical boundary for example one city to another city one country to another country okay wireless as well which is normally we call vlan the uh, wireless lan for example course you don't need any cable they use signals storage area network san as well which is most likely in a banking environment you might already see your data information is all stored on the on there nowadays i think youtube may be a big san you can think about it facebook all your information store in a you know in a milliseconds or in a microsecond on one storage space even you uh, one drive which i shared you the data uh, dropbox for example you know many file sharing applications are there okay so they are called san of course where you store all the information campus network as well maybe in any uh, library hostel um, or the university schools are called campus network So there are different types of network so local area networks as you can see one a few pcs are connected to a switch and they have a server for example they have a printer they have a telephone and all those things wide area network as you can see multiple different lands are geographically separated connected to uh, a known wan wide area network there is there is so whenever you connect a wide area network there is a device called router so in ccn especially and in going forward the router is the main device which you will be interacting and working physically logically and managing managing troubleshooting remotely but here this is a very important device which can connect your uh, a lan to another lan actually most likely in your house as, as well when the bt or a virgin engineer comes in they give you the wireless router which is connected so you can see some of the components which we are going to observe So this is one of the Cisco router, as you can see. So this is you can see the front end and the back end. And in the front end, what you can see is this is the security slot, this is the ground connector, this is the input power, this is the power on off, this is the flash LED. These are the slots where you connect the wide area network or the local area network. Okay, RJ45 connection. serial port we will discuss about serial port later on usb connector usb port 
baud rate for example and these are the different network interface part built in network interface part some of the link light speed light okay poe power over ethernet usb port so as compared to bt routers or virtual router at your home this is you can see this this is connecting the this is a serious work okay this is connect because you are connecting more pc here your in, in your home maybe there are 5 10 machine but in the office maybe up to 100 machine and of course you need a bigger device in order to or which which has more resources in order to do that in order to do that so basically this network uh, this router they are that is that is the job of your day to day okay that is your job of as a network engineer that that is what your job you are doing on a day to day basis okay so the, that's why you can see these routers are different as compared to whatever you have in your home okay because these routers uh, we will when you go into the uh, cisco website we will further <clears throat> see these devices anyway so that's the introduction of what is lan wan